Basil, the morning DJ on ZJB Radio Montserrat, invited a couple of us to be guests on his radio show. Who could refuse such an offer? Hey, chicken morning time. We've got uh, 25 dumpers on the clock, and let me say good morning to... Uh, I've got some guests in the studio. In fact, I'm going to tell you, I met um, these gentlemen at the airport the other day, and I was saying, now, why, why are they in Montserrat? What, the, what are they doing? And I decided to uh, call them into the studio to have a five-minute chat with them. So let me let you introduce yourself, first of all. Well, good morning. I'm Scott Anderson. I'm from Massachusetts in the United States, and I'm uh, here on a radio expedition with uh, seven other fellows. Here's another one. My name is Bud Drummond. I'm from California, from Redding, California, and uh, we decided to come here sometime last summer, actually about April, then looked at, uh, at it last summer and decided to come down here, and wow, are we happy. What a beautiful place. Beautiful. Is this your, your first time? This is my first time to Montserrat, but I can guarantee it's not my last. It's beautiful. Yeah, mm -hmm. with hosts like we have, we have uh, our hosts are uh, David and Clover Lee and family at the Gingerbread Hill, and my goodness, we could not have picked better. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Okay, now t tell us exactly about this radio uh, exhibition or meeting or whatever it is that you're having. Well, it's called a de-expedition. Basically, it's a, it's a uh, traveling with your radios. People uh, in all hobbies, I think, like to collect them all. Whether it's uh, in sports, you try to collect all the points, but in radio, you try to talk to all the different spots in the world you possibly can. So radio operators will often go to uh, fun places or every spot on the planet and uh, try to operate their radio from there. And uh, a great deal of people around the world are anxious to get uh, confirmation that they've talked to Montserrat. So that's why we're here. All right. were, were you anxious about coming to Montserrat? Did you want to come? Oh, it's, we've been, we, <laughs> we, it's been an incredibly uh, fun uh, time planning this. We've uh, planned every, every detail for about the last uh, six months. In fact, I don't think I've gone 10 minutes without saying the word Montserrat for about the last six months. It's been awesome. Mm -hmm. But let me t ask you another question. Why Montserrat, though? You know, you, you, no doubt you've been hearing about your volcanic situation. Oh, oh did, yeah. Did, did that make you guys want to come even, even quicker? And, well, you know, it didn't make a difference to me. How about you, uh, Scott? Well, if anything, it, uh, it made it much more interesting. I mean, this is, uh, this is one of the places on Earth where you can be uh, near something that is, uh, well, you just don't get to see very often. Sure. Uh, I've been to Hawaii, and, and certainly the volcanoes there are, are, are interesting, but this is, uh, this is a very special place on planet Earth, and we were very pleased to be able to come here. Indeed. So w what are you going to do exactly now, now that, that you're here, and how long are you going to be here for? We have a lot of different portable operations we're setting up and at various places uh, around the island here. Uh, yesterday I was out on my bicycle. I have a mountain bike that David, mm -hmm. my host, uh, lent to me for a few days. And I have a complete radio station on my mountain bike. And yesterday, in about an hour, uh, 55 different people from all over the world wanted to talk with me. And it was just a, a, what we call a pile-up, which is a mm -hmm. ton of people in your ears. And you have, mm -hmm. to do, you have to talk with them instantly and just say, here's how strong you are on Montserrat. Thank you. I'll talk with you later because right now there's a dozen <laughs> guys waiting and wanting mm -hmm. to talk to this beautiful mm -hmm. little volcanic island. And uh, people ask about the volcano. And they know about it. It's wonderful. Okay, I was just going to say that uh, we first heard about uh, the expedition to, to Gingerbread Hill um, in a magazine article that came out last year. And we all read it and looked at it, and my son, who is an active ham, also said, Hey, Pop, we had to go there. This, this looks great. And look what they say about the host. Well, right away we Googled Gingerbread Hill. And uh, as soon as we did, we said, Man, that's it. It sits at a beautiful view. and. And uh, we can put antennas up in there, and the hosts don't care, and they're helping us, and we're thinking, how can you beat this? Right, Scott? Absolutely. Uh, first of all, the, uh, 